<laughs> sure. Uh, so you know, when, before I got on, like, on testosterone, I had people telling me that I got on testosterone and made me gay. Did you have anybody telling you that? <laughs> I don't know about making me gay, but really? <laughs> just that, like, you know, that there's a chance for your sexuality to, to show itself more fully, I guess, when you're not, um, I don't know, when you're not as hampered by your gender. <laughs> I don't know, that didn't make much sense, but no, I don't remember anybody telling me that I would be gay or turn out gay. <laughs> I, I specifically mean, I had someone tell me that. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> just to let you know, yeah. things are going to be a little different once you get on testosterone. I've had quite a few people before. Like, huh. I don't know. I mean, I think the assumption, like, at least, you know, when I came out to my parents, like, somebody asked the question about would I still like women, and you know, I think my dad's knee jerk response was like, of course, of course. And I'm like, why not? <laughs> and I was like, well, <laughs> actually, there's a chance. You could like men, I guess, but... Do um, you still feel yeah. that way that, like, that there's a chance that testosterone could change someone's sexuality? I don't think it can ever change anybody's sexuality. I mean, I think you can just be... Once you're more comfortable with yourself, you know, you can be more open to other opportunities, so... I think it just helps you feel more open. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it changes anybody's sexuality. Though. And it would be, before I got on to, um, testosterone, I was really afraid of it, like, the possibility of changing my sexuality because I was married to a woman for eight years and it's like, yeah. uh oh, what happened? Yeah. Did, it, did you find your any shifts in your sexuality? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think. I think it, it became more clear that it wasn't as threatening to consider a relationship with a man. Like I don't, I don't think I really still, I don't feel attracted to men or like have any romantic interest in men. But the idea isn't so like preposterous to me now. <laughs> like before, it would have been like, no way. I like women, and that's what I like. Don't try to tell me anything otherwise. <laughs> but you know, but I think I was just putting up such a barrier because it would have been really threatening. For as a woman to be attracted to men, or have men attracted to me as a woman. It's, it's kind of like... Yeah, it would have been totally disorienting. So, no, I, I could never have opened myself up to that. I know, I, I definitely definitely realized that, you know, once I got on testosterone, a lot of my repulsion towards men had to do with being seen as a woman and not being treated right. Um, yeah. when, I, when I first got on testosterone for like, I don't know, maybe six months or so, I'm not exactly sure how long. I was through like this penis fetish or something. Where I was <laughs> yeah. uh, I just felt like my sexuality was like 75% attracted to like yeah. guys and then 25% attracted to women. And it was kind of scary because you know, I was married at the time. To a woman. Yeah. And I, I hear other guys in this list too. I think, you know, I, I don't know. We're going through a second puberty. I think there's an interest in trying new things or. It's just an exciting time, and so I think sometimes you might things might pop into your mind that you wouldn't, you wouldn't have thought about much before. So I don't know. I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad thing. But I, you know, I know people go through this. Like there's a shift in, in how you're feeling and what you're thinking. So yeah, but it, it, it is scary, you know. Like I mean, it I brought was, it up. It was I, really confusing. I think the hard part was just the idea of like, what if I lose my attraction towards women when I. I loved it my whole life. Um, but I, actually, I, and I kept feeling a different shift, like I kept going down. Like, I think what happened with new girls. I, I don't know, for me, top surgery definitely helped. I know for some people it makes the dysphoria shift. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what happened to me, at least. Yeah. You know, you get bottom sur bottom, uh, top surgery and you're okay with that part of your body, and then you start thinking about like, yeah, certainly my dysphoria shifted. Now I was wearing really uncomfortable with my bottom area. So. Um, but yeah, but I think part of like what you talked about initially, like the penis finish or whatever, like I think that kind of pops up. I mean, I, like I had, I went through that. I think it's just that, like, you just wish that that could be your experience of your body. Let me just see your dick. <laughs> yeah, like,